And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. I give you the rundown on tennis coverage every day. And we're back in Germany, the Porsche Grand Prix, one of my favorite clay tournaments. Clay indoors, come on, this is a luxury tournament. But listen, guys, I think the draw needs to be extended. This is a very prestigious, expensive tournament. I mean, for crying out loud, the players get to use a Porsche for the entire week. Not that they really have anywhere to go. I mean, let's be honest, they have to practice and prepare for these matches. A lot of prize money at stake. But I do feel, you know, the top seeds having a bye and then winning one match are already in the round of 16. I think it's too easy. We need to make, we need to extend the draw. That's my personal opinion. Um, I mean, for crying out loud, I mean, should it be a master event? I don't think the facility can endure that type of draw, but I don't know. I just think... I, I think you have to make the top seeds work a little more. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, winning one match and just already being in the round of 16. I, I've never liked those type of tournaments because I think it makes room for upset. And Coco said it best. Look, when you're playing your first clay tournament of the season, you have to adjust to the court. And that these tournaments make way for upsets. And people have to understand that. A lot of people didn't realize that you know, why a lot of the top seeds were struggling in this tournament early on is because they don't have their clay form and rhythm down yet. It's going to take time. And these qualifiers that have played a lot of matches, they have their form. But this is a matchup here where Veronica, look, she's never beat Elena Rabacca. They've played three times. Veronica has barely won one set in all of those three matches. And if you don't think Elena Rabacca knows who Veronica is, they do, okay? They're from they're from Russia, and if you're not familiar, Elena Rybakina had to become a resident of Kazakhstan, which borders Russia, because she couldn't get funding from Russia. They didn't really believe in her tennis abilities. And if you think she doesn't remember that, she really does. Now, not that they're not friends or cordial off the court. Of, of course they are, but the reality here is Veronica got her big start in 2018, Right? where Elena Rabakina burst on the scene in 19, where I told everyone, look, watch out for Rabakina. She's going to be the future of tennis. She's so good. I said it with Veronica. I said it with Iga. I said it with Elena Rabakina. Even look at other players in the tournament. Polini. I've been telling you, Coco's going to be the future of tennis. She's got seven championships now, right? But this matchup here, ladies and gentlemen, I feel Veronica's going to have to play fast. She's going to have to speed her back and up, get her off of that baseline. She can't be camped out there dropping bombs, ladies and gentlemen. And she's got to attack the second serve of Elena Rebecca if she's ever going to beat her. But early on in this in this match, guys, Veronica gets the break. And then Rebecca comes back with a rocket, a heat-seeking Missile straight laser beam and Veronica is scrambling on the baseline and this was bad ladies and gentlemen Veronica almost tripped out here. Take a look That's excellent from back in it <laughs> Whoa, that was a flamethrower listen Elena Rabakina might get one of those forehands past me. I'm not saying she would, but she might get one past me. Maybe one, okay? That was a flamethrower. And right now, she is on the move, ladies and gentlemen. Six aces. Whoa! She's winning nearly 80% of her first serves. Veronica is attacking the second serve, winning 71% of those. But it's coming down to the break points right now. Rabakina breaks, and she is up on the move. Now, listen, a lot of fans saying, look, hey, you know, you cover a lot of Veronica's matches. Listen, I cover all the players' matches. And listen, I think, I think Veronica, play, I, think, I think she's genuine, okay? I think she's a good tennis player, and I love the emotion she shows. She's, she's got passion to win, and I love players that show passion. But right now, she's in trouble because Elena Rabakin is on the move. Tennis in a minute, a lot of tennis to cover today. Iga's in action. We'll be back. 